So we're doing a secret Santa at work. And of course I got the boss, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And apparently he got me. I was gonna do a little gag gift and I heard that he was supposed to do something kind of elaborate and cool considering that I like cars and I have a skyline. So I thought it would be fitting to make him a Ferrari themed skate deck, except I didn't want it to just be a deck because he doesn't care for skating, unlike me. So we made this cool, elaborate, big box that actually lights up, which you'll see in part two of this video. In part one, I'm gonna show you how I designed the deck and how I created the lighting effect. And normally I wouldn't do it this way, but this is the first time I've ever thought about doing this. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and stay tuned for part two, where I build this box and create it for a, a display for my boss for a secret Santa gift that I don't even know if he's gonna like. I just didn't wanna spend any money and I end up probably spending too much money on this and too much time on this. So if you liked today's video, leave a like and comment, please, and subscribe if you're new. Okay, let's start today's video. For the design of this deck, I had this really cool idea in mind, so I'm kind of testing it out right now to see if it's gonna work. This can had like no spray paint in it, so I ended up switching to one that had spray paint in it. But first layer is black, and then I'm gonna go with red because my boss's car is red. Now I'm getting some wrinkled newspaper or just paper in general to try to create the textured look that I'm going for. And again, this is all just in my head. I have no clue what it's actually gonna look like when I do it, but I have an idea mentally that I'm going for. Sometimes I feel like I go too much or not enough. In this case, I felt like I needed to add some silver to it to give it more depth, which honestly, I don't think that it did as much as I wanted to. If this was resin, it probably would have looked really good, but I'm just using silver spray paint and covering it back with red. I still think it created the same effect. The silver was more for highlights and the black was more for shadows. At this point, I wanted more shadow, so I added a little bit more black to the top of it. Now it's time to go ahead and cut everything out for uh, my stencils. If you're wondering what I'm using, this is just a Cricut Explorer or Cricut Air Explorer. I don't really know the name, but Cricut. Now we've got the Ferrari logo, mask it up and spray paint the white for it. As you can see, it's really, really windy and I have to reach all the way to this side right here just to get paint on it. I don't know why I'm doing this outside. I should probably do it in my shop, but spray paint fumes, so. Now let's unmask it and see how terrible the stencil worked because there's gonna be overspray. As you can tell, right there. But that's okay, because I have an idea. So right here, what I'm doing is using Goo Gone, or Goo Off, and Q-tips, and going around cleaning all the edges. Very difficult to do, and it takes a lot of paint off, so careful. Now we can go ahead and get the Ferrari sticker done. Normally I would do a stencil and paint this, but since it's just a display board, I'm using a sticker. And now for this idea, I kind of had, again, all in my head, I don't really know what I'm doing. I wanted to have a red LED backdrop, and normally I would use LEDs, but I only had Christmas lights. So, Christmas lights it is. I'm gonna glue everything on the back side of it, test it, make sure it works. And that's it. As you can tell from that last clip, the Christmas lights indeed work. Normally I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably do an LED strip on the back of it to actually make it work and do like a battery powered LED strip. 
but this is all I had laying around and I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money. So this is kind of a prototype of what I can do for the future. Let me know if you guys like it, because if you do, I might make an actual display box that you can put on a dresser, put on your wall, or just display it kind of how this is displayed now. And you can have it plugged in as like a, a nightlight or something. But again, we will show that whole box process on part two of this video because this video is running on long enough. But yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed today's content, just showing you another way that I custom designed my skateboards and kind of teach you a way of how to clean off your overspray without being crazy. Again, all I used was goo off or goo gone. Yeah, this, this stuff here, that's all I used. And you've gotta be very careful with it because if you use too much, it'll actually eat away at all the other paint that you laid down. So get a Q-tip and you're just gonna run it along all the parts where you had overspray and it worked out beautifully. As you can tell here, there is no more overspray. But just to kind of give you an idea of what to look forward to for the next video, there's the box that's finished. Let me plug it in. And there it is plugged in with the red light showing in the background. What I'll probably do for another one is actually make this gray or lighter color so it reflects more of the light because this kind of takes away a lot of the light. But when I turn the actual lights off, you can see it a lot easier. So that's kind of the plan is to do a lighter background to make it pop whenever the lights are off. But if you're using this at night, just as a display, I think it looks great. Let me turn off my other LEDs. And this is what it looks like when it's pitch black. So it's definitely not super crazy bright. You can still see the shape of the board and you have the box outline. But again, that's something to look forward to for part two of this video. That brings us to the end of today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. And then stay tuned for part two where we actually build the box and display it and then maybe potentially give it to my boss. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film that, but if I do, then you know it's gonna be in there. But that's for part two. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Later.